If you were to have gone to the OC Transpo Lost and Found, say 15 years ago, you would have seen a lot of CDs there. Today, not so much. It's all cell phones and MP3 players. But it's not just the stuff in the Lost and Found that's changed at OC Transpo over the years. There's been a real culture shift in government. Now, we expect more openness from everybody at OC Transpo and all government agencies. That's why we were so surprised this week at the Auditor General's report. Ken Hughes told us that at OC Transpo, they've sole sourced the lost and found contract for the last 14 years. And that's a contract worth $600,000. Perhaps more alarmingly, we find out that some OC Transpo employees get to keep the stuff they find on the transit buses. Now, both these may not be quite as scandalous as they first appear. That sole source contract, well, it's been going to a charitable organization that actually helps some of the city's most vulnerable people. And by outsourcing our lost and found operations, it saved the taxpayers money. As for bus drivers getting to keep the stuff they find on the buses, they do have to wait a number of weeks to make sure those items aren't claimed. Still, even though finders keepers may have some basis in law, that practice just does not pass the smell test for today. You know, times change. Some of us miss our homemade CDs, but I think we all welcome a change in government that sees people being more transparent, more accountable. And that includes at OC Transpo. For the Ottawa Citizen, I'm Joanne Chianello.